Bulldog defense that played big all night, but it was their offense that came through and stepped up when they needed it the most. With just 14 seconds left to play, running back A.J. Ellis dove into the end zone for a one-yard touchdown that secured a 23-20 Fresno State victory over Idaho on a cold and rainy Saturday night. I thought we used our timeouts real well. I know there was a lot of people nervous probably. Why aren't they using their timeouts? We still had one timeout if we wouldn't have scored on that play. You know, we do a, a one-minute drill every day, so... Um, you know, 23 seconds is an eternity with two timeouts. Racking up six sacks by six different players, Fresno State's defense held the Vandals to just 210 yards, including negative five at halftime. It wasn't until the fourth quarter that Idaho scored the first offensive touchdown of the night. I give our defense all the credit in the world because they battled, they battled their heart out tonight, and they, they're the reason we stayed in that game. Linebacker Travis Brown not only snagged his first interception of his career, but he returned at 30 yards for a touchdown, also the first of his career. It marked the first interception for a touchdown by the Bulldogs since Philip Thomas did so in December of last season. I think the receiver ended up coming on from behind and trying to tackle me, and you know I just saw the end zone. I said, I just got to get to it. So, while the win may not have been as easy as predicted, Coach Hill credits his team for their hard work and is proud of the effort that was put forth from both ends. It was another one of those do or die games, like they've been all year. So. When some people don't think we have anything to play for in November, I think they're completely wrong. There's plenty to play for still. After a pair of demoralizing losses to Nevada and Boise State, Fresno State was able to guarantee itself its 11th winning season in the last 12 years. The Dogs close out WAC play 5-3 and three, and will likely finish fourth in the conference. Despite the clutch win, it was the closest margin victory of the Idaho Vandals since the Vandals joined the conference in 2005. But as head coach Pat Hill put it, the Dogs got 23 and the Vandals got 20. For the Collegian Online, I'm Ben Ingersoll.